to the city. We'll start with our visitors, Leighton Orient, G. Macanola, Jill Randall, 16, Robbie. It's a great flick on from Bowman, and well, it's in spaces. Uh, oh, Joel Randall! Joel Randall locks it in. What a goal from Joel Randall! And again, it's that man, Ryan Bowman, flicking onto him. We just said it a few minutes ago. The threat he poses, flicked on nicely to Joel Randall in loads of space, and Joel Randall just picked his spot. Coolly slots past Figaro in the late Orient goal. And we're 11 minutes gone here at St James's Park and Exeter City leads by one goal to nil. It's brilliant by Ryan Berman. He just pins that defender and I back him every single time as soon as he's got that back to Hodgewood just a nice ball there to Lewis Page under pressure. Lewis Page there into Maggie. Maggie can get shot away here and he does! And it's going to be a second goal for Exeter City! And it's an absolute howler from the goalkeeper, Vigaru. You thought it was going to be a clear save for him and he just spilt it and it just drops into the right bottom hand corner. And it's uh, out. what was a perfect, well, what was an ideal start for Exeter City has turned into the perfect start. 13 minutes gone, Exeter City leading by two goals to nil. And he'll go across there to Wilmot, who goes up to Archie Collins. Archie Collins back to Wilmot on the right-hand side. So Wilmot looks to get the cross into Bowman, and it goes across to Joel Randall, who hits the post now, it's with Matt Jay, and the ball is in the back of the net for goal number three for Exeter City. <laughs> and what can you say, 42 minutes gone, and would you believe it, Exeter City lead later oh, in by three goals to nil. What a peculiar goal that was. I mean, the ball in was superb. The header was just missed by Ryan Bowman. It fell to Joel, probably unexpectedly. It's rolled up off his body onto the post, and MJ's managed to tap it in right past uh, Lawrence Vigaru, who was already falling back into his net. And it's, yeah, ecstasy. 3 0 up. Whistle goes, Matt J just approaching, slows up and hits it to the down the middle. And Exeter City get their fourth goal. And you have to say this is turning into the perfect afternoon for the Grecians. Yes, yeah, a perfect penalty by uh, by MJ. He's, he's very good at his penalties, and you know there's been a lot of talk on social media about his penalty taking method because it it certainly is a. Uh, Hot stopping, if you like, but you know he stops, takes his time, slots it to the other side of the goalkeeper, and it's uh, four goals for the Grecians. Four goal, would you believe it? And a hat trick for Matt Jay. Yeah, Good afternoon for him. Replacing number ten, Archie Collins. Number four.
Sometimes you can make your own look in a game, but we were on the front foot nice and positive. So we, we caught them a little bit cold and they were probably a little bit leggy from all the effort they put in on Tuesday. And that's the way the league is at the moment. That's why it's so, so difficult to be consistent and keep on picking up results. Yeah, really happy, obviously, to mainly get the win because we have been a little bit up and down recently. So, but yeah, uh, hat tricks, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. He's earned, he's, he's earned what he is this season. You know, he's, let's be honest, he's, he's, he's had to wait enough time in relation to that. Um, it's slightly unlucky to fall behind such quality in terms of Mickey Law when he was at the club and other good players before that time. Um, but MJ is a top quality player. We actually played some quite nice stuff today, I thought. I thought uh, great to the ground staff, the pitch was a lot, lot better today and um, I think it showed that we were able to, to do a lot more.